What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great weekend. Uh, tomorrow night, 5 o'clock Eastern, I'll be back at the Red Brick House, and we'll be doing our uh, Sunday live stream. If you are a channel member... If you are a channel member, we hope to see you, of course, in our live stream at 5 o'clock Eastern. We've been doing it now for over three years uh, in the off-season on Sunday nights. Um, the link is in the um, – will be in the community tab, so you can join in and be part of the conversation. So some people think that C.J. Strahd has lost his mind. Maybe hanging out with Micah Parsons has just rotted his brain or something because he literally said something here that people are losing their mind about. Let me go to the tape here. Let's go to the tape here. Listen to this. I'm you tripping. tripping. So, <laughs> yeah, final five. I know what I'm doing, dog. Uh, <laughs> Mahomes, Lamar, myself, Dak, Joey B. Uh, no, he didn't really oh, off last year. Off last and then it hurts. Dak, yeah, that boy. Y'all not gonna say that because he ain't, he ain't one big. You said you said Matt Matt no, Cowboys thing. Well, Cowboys thing. Well, you gonna put Dak Prescott in there over Joe Burrow? Yeah, I got I'm Joe. Last year, dog, he ain't play all year. Oh no, I'm tripping. This is what you tripping. So yo, <laughs> final five. I know what I'm doing, dog. Uh, <laughs> Mahomes, Lamar, myself, Dak, Joey B. Uh, no, he really oh, off last year. Off last and year. then it hurts. Dak, yeah, Dak, 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 Dak. Dak. Y'all not gonna say that because he ain't, he ain't one Stop big. Say, you, you said Matt, Matt three thousand. No, he's he's Cowboys thing. Well, Cowboys thing. Well, you gonna put Dak Prescott in there over Joe Burrow? Yeah, I got Joe. Last year, dog, he ain't play all year. Oh no, I'm tripping. Let me go. Are I'm going. Tripping? So people are losing their mind on this one. I, I see my man Law Nations has posted a video about it. Uh, Dak Attacks. Shout out to Dak Attacks. Got it and everything else. But you see CJ Stride's boys like, what? Are you crazy? You know, um, I, you know, it's kind of hard not to say that he's in the top five. If you look at the, um, you know, where, where they're actually saying he's the top quarterback in the NFC uh, this year. You know, Joe Burrow is great. Let, 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 let me let me preface it this, okay? If he's saying on last year, well, Joe Burrow didn't play. He was injured. You can say Justin Herbert, who's regressed, you know, because a lot of people will say Justin Herbert, of course, is, is great, um, who regressed the last three years, you know, only had 20 TDs and nine interceptions. You might be able to say Josh Allen, put Josh Allen in there, but Josh Allen got lots of turnovers there. Some people might say Tua, but I'm not sure Tua belongs on that list. So who else does? You can't say Aaron Rodgers because he didn't play last year either. Is C.J. Stroud crazy? What do you think? I think he's spot on. Although I do have a little bit, I would say a little bit of uh, a question on that. Just a little bit of one. My question would be, is, does Herps belong on there? I know he's got a lot of rushing touchdowns because of the tush push, but other than that, hmm, hmm, hmm. All right, you good people. I am done. I'm going to go take me a shower, and hopefully I don't pass out. Before I can go ahead and do my uh, fireside chat, it's been um, it's been good actually being up here. It was, so it was actually really really good because I got a chance to help uh, my friend's daughter. She moved, got a new place. Uh, her, her other daughter had her birthday party and stuff. So my wife got to go to that and hang out with her friends and things like that. I got a bunch of work done helping a friend getting her place together. Uh, saw the sunset over the Susquehanna River and um, ate some really good food, too, because she cooked a nice steak, perfect steak and salad, for keto. And uh, going to keep on busting the hump. 
the crazy thing is, I can't believe it's June 1st already, is um, training camp is next month, guys. Training camp is next month. Can you believe that? Then we can put away all the talk, and then we can get back to actually the players on the field. I can't wait. Um, I'm going to try this year to do a lot more, as my wife would say, flagpole events. Um, definitely trying to go to training camp. Um, the 10th, the game on the 10th, November 10th, the Eagles Cowboys. I want to make that a huge event. Um, if I can get Philly 500 to show up and dance Leo, if they're not chicken to. And then, of course, we'll do the tailgate against Washington at the, uh, the stadium formerly known as FedEx Field. I don't know what it's going to be called. I don't know if it's going to be the football stadium or what. Um, but we'll do a tailgate there. And maybe, just maybe, the Cowboys make the playoffs. And maybe we'll try and do a playoff game or something. I don't know. We'll see. Whew. I have hopes for this season. I don't know about anybody else, but I have lots of hopes for this NFL season. And hopefully, Dak will show that C.J. Stroud was right, and he is a top five quarterback, hopefully number one. And hopefully the Cowboys can finally get this monkey off their back. God, I would love to see that. Mm. Oh, you guys are still here, aren't you? Well, I guess I will catch you guys on the flip side. And um, see you guys a little bit later. And uh, peace out. steel guard radial tire and by state farm mutual almost anywhere you live there's a state farm agent nearby like a good neighbor state farm is there